What's up everybody, Ricky Caruth here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm in my backyard. We're overlooking one of the greens on the golf course. Um, super peaceful out here, um, especially sitting by the pool, listening to the waterfall. Um, really kind of a dream come true kind of deal and um, really enjoying it to be honest with you. And that's what you have to do, man. The little things in life, you just gotta sit back and enjoy them. It's not all about you know, trying to advance to the next level in life all the time. At some point, you have to, you know, reap what you sow, sit back, and enjoy the fruits of your labor. So that's what I'm doing to a certain extent. <laughs> I am still staying super busy. So today, the National Association of Realtors came out with their April numbers. Okay, so before I get into the numbers, I'm going to be in my second YouTube channel. It's probably going on right this second as you're seeing this video. I'm going to put a link in the description. It's going to be me and Steven Martinez out of Orlando, and he is going to be cold calling for sell by owners. This guy is an animal with for sell by owners. Um, so I can't, I've never heard him on the phone. So I really can't wait to see um, his skill level, like where he really is, because he really talks a good game. So I want to see if he can back it up. So definitely go over there and check that call session out. It's going to be very interesting. So the numbers, okay, our April numbers. This is very interesting because April was, I want to say, one of the scariest, maybe even could be, maybe even a debatable uh, subject could be if April is the, the scariest month in the last hundred years in, in the world. One of the scariest months over the last hundred years on earth, okay? Possibly could have been, who knows? But when you look at the real estate market and the numbers that we're putting up, it is quite amazing. And this goes out to all of you agents who have been sitting on the sidelines, sitting there, you know, saying that the market's at a standstill. I want you to look at all this business that you've been missing out on. Okay? Number of transactions were down 18%. Okay, when we look back at the March pending numbers, the March pending numbers were down 20%. So, you know, what went pending in March normally is probably close to what's going to close in April. And so you look at the closed sales in April, we were down 18%. Okay, this is a glass half full, glass half empty situation. You could look at this and say, oh my God, you know, it was down 18%. That's horrible news. Oh my gosh, so many less buyers. Or you could look at it and say, wow. 80%, the same number as last April, 80% of those same numbers are still buying and closing on properties during one of the scariest months in the history of the world. Yes, that is what is happening. Okay, so it's a glass half full, glass half empty situation. Which way do you want to look at it? Because I'm on the 80% side. I think 80% or let's just say 82% is a lot larger number than 18%, okay? Which number is larger? I'm gonna go with 82 and I'm gonna be happy with that number. Now, if we look at inventory, inventory is down almost 20%, it's like 19% year over year from last April. Okay, so inventory has plummeted. We've talked about that, I've talked about that in other videos, how sellers are not putting their properties on the market because they don't want buyers walking through the properties. They're also pulling their properties and their listings off the market, so that's a very interesting, you know, dynamic as well. We've got some golfers going by here, fixing to see if they can knock one in the hole. So, here's the big one, though. Okay, and th this is one that is, uh, you know, very, maybe even the most interesting out of all three of these data points, and that is that the median prices went up 7.5%, 7.4 something, year over year, when you compare last April to this April. 7.1% increase in median sales prices is amazing during one of the scariest months ever, okay? This is people that, buyers that have been putting properties under contract in March, when the shutdown happened, and definitely, even if they put the properties under contract before the shutdown happened, they still went through with the deals to close on it at higher prices. Okay, so incredible numbers that NAR put up for us today. I hope this opens up your eyes to what is really happening in the market. Um, and for all the agents out there that, that's been sleeping on the job, 
that's just, you know, this market's at a standstill. Nobody's doing everything. Everybody's waiting on everything to blow over. Absolutely not. The numbers are staggering. And I'm telling you right now, when we see the April pending numbers that are going to come out, that's going to come out here shortly, you know, like in a week, I cannot wait to see the pending numbers for April across the country uh, for, for, for the, and when they come out. It's going to be staggering when you see the amount of activity that's going on. And I'll just repeat what I've been saying in many, many videos. Go to your local MLS, pull up all the new listings, closed and pending deals that's happening every day since the shutdown happened and get back to me and tell me the market's had a shutdown. Okay guys, that's my update for today. Go check out those live calls on my second channel with Steven Martinez. Um, I hope you got a lot out of this. Let me know in the comments what you think about the market moving forward. Hit that subscribe button, shoot me a like, and let me know what in the world I can do for you. You guys have a good one. We'll talk to you soon. Let's go. I'm poor thinking, need a life for the ideas. I'm in the splash zone with the brain waves. I shoot for stars up in my aim is straight. I lay in the sand line in the